All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna go over the Athlon Argos spotting scope. This one, as you can see here, is the HD, has HD glass 20 to 60 by 85. So a big old objective lens. Uh, most of them that you will find are either a 60 millimeter or an 80 millimeter objective lens. This one's quite big and it's pretty dang heavy. Um, the focus adjustment is right here. And then you got this knob here. You can, it's like a set screw. You just turn that loose and then you can turn the body of the spotting scope. You have an adjustable eye cup. And mainly, I have this all the way out at 20x. When you turn it all the way up, more magnification, you're probably gonna have to turn that in. The eye box at uh, 60x uh, is extremely small. It's very usable at its lotus setting, but when you start cranking up, um, it's kind of, you have to be super still. Um, you kind of want a stable tripod because if it's wiggling around, uh, you're going to lose sight of what you're trying to look at. Um, I would highly recommend if you're going to be using it at the higher magnification levels to get one of these. And this is a phone scope. And you just pop it on there. Um, because what you'll find is that at 60x, the uh, field of view is so small and it's so hard to be, you know, you kind of get a headache trying to, to look at, to focus on that little small spot. But having the phone scope on there is a game changer for uh, using spotting scopes. So I will, uh, I'll be rolling in some uh, B-roll when I was at the range. Um, you'll be able to see some uh, bullet trace. is you know it says it's HD glass but um, that's very subjective usually the HD glass is probably just this subjective ones right here there's many other lenses um, and all the best spotting sculpts have ED glass uh, extra low dispersion and HD is just you know high density very subjective on, on what that means. It's, um, you know, there's different quality of, of uh, ED and HD glass. Um, this uh, scope was made in China. Nothing wrong with that. Their quality coming out of China has, has uh, increased over the years. Um, but, you know, compared to other offerings, uh, more expensive, it's, it's not, you can't even compare it. Um, but in this price, price range I picked it up for uh, 360 I think it was and you compare it to all other sculpts in that price range in this um, it's very hard to beat even the uh, the diamond back the vortex diamond back when I look through that I look through I was either gonna get that one or this one I looked at through both of them and and this one won out for me um, that uh, the Diamondback does not have HD glass. Um, what else to say about it? Um, the edge-to-edge -edge clarity is not there. Um, you're just not going to get there with this price. 
you're gonna have to spend quite a bit more money to get the edge-to-edge -edge clarity there's a little bit of uh, chromatic aberration um, you zoom in on and what that means is when you're looking at an object there's like a fuzzy haze around it it's kind of discolored um, and that's kind of what that is so you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to get uh, you know near perfect image quality uh, you won't have that with this but it is still very good and um, it outperforms easily the you know the cheapest scope you got the Simmons the Barska and those don't even stand a chance against this one but you still get all the features um, of the high quality sculpts in this for a lower price it's just the difference is is the glass and this still does have uh, pretty good glass the coatings are good it seems it's very heavy it seems very durable it has a, uh, a rubber a rubberized uh, coating around the magnesium body um, and it has this sunshade comes out uh, which is pretty nice um, other than that I don't really know what else to say it's for the price a very very good quality um, and I'm gonna take this out west with me out hunting just to, to spot some game from really far off um, but mostly I did buy this for spotting shots um, at shooting long range so that's all I got guys thanks for watching